Thank you, Mrs. H. Fantastic as always. The first flowers of the year. And may I say, um, in the United Kingdom anyway, at the time of this uh, video going up, 7 a.m. on the 1st of January, 2023. A very happy and healthy new year to you. First shave of the year and um, first video of the year. <laughs> God, let's hope and pray this year, we say it every year, but let's hope and pray it does come true. It's a better year for everyone in lots of different reasons. Um, so we're going to start it off with a shave as usual. And I'm going to very batter this, <laughs> a bit like me, um, as a metal tube. It's Musco Real Shaving Cream Orange Amber. Um, had this a long time, many years, using my own bowl. And then it is in the bottom there. One camera shave today. Um, oh, I use this beautiful Gillette Slim Adjustable. Um, done in this sort of Cuban cigar and gold uh, colour by a company I've said many times uh, who doesn't uh, exist anymore, sadly. Uh, Delta Echo Razorworks. Uh, but these were sent to me in this condition. Thank you, Mark, if you're watching. And um, still enjoy them. So this, as you can see, look, it's, it's already on the setting there. Number nine, most aggressive of, uh, of this razor. I'm going to go with that Gillette Nasset again. I like that. There it is. That's its second use. Close it up. There's overhang, quarter turn. There's overhang to be aware of with this razor. Paul H Films brush, 2022, last year's brush. Have to look into a new one for this year now, in the spring maybe. Um, that's that one. Beautiful. Let me actually cut that right. And create the lather. We'll wet the face. And uh, we'll get going. Now I don't know, sometimes people ask you, I was asked a few times, um, a couple of days running up to the new year and here we go so it's wet but it's not dripping and then um, some said uh, have you have you done any or are you going to do any sort of new year's resolutions and then um, and I said yes that's my answer was I said yes I am oh what are they I said not to make any resolutions those are my resolutions. <laughs> so I said, if you don't make any, you can't break any, can you? <laughs> yeah. Some people looked at me and said, oh, you miserable swine. But a few others thought, yeah, that's a good idea. Nice. As you can see, that's a few years old, that, that cream. You've got to watch creams more than soaps, in my opinion. Um... If you've had them a few years, just look at them. You can tell sometimes by just looking the way they are. Smell them, this is beautiful. Um, most will be fine, but as I say, if you look, just look at them. Funny colour, smell funny, some of that. Don't use it. It's gone off. But as I say, it doesn't happen that often. Especially with the, the, the sort of uh, vintage, uh, how can I say, classics. Very... Uh, very good at what they, well, very good at staying um, usable. I think, uh, I think that'll do us. You having a shave today? New Year's shave or? Maybe having, have you had one? Having? Whatever. I hope you enjoyed it if you've had one. I hope you do enjoy it if you haven't one. There we go. Uh, people say, doing anything special on New Year? Not really. We didn't, uh, we don't go out very often to anything like that. Um, stay away from the crowds, really. Uh, have a few drinks at home to celebrate. I'm, personally, I'm f usually falling asleep in the chair about 11 o'clock. <laughs> 7.30, 8 
sometimes I'll think, well, I'll stay up and watch the London uh, fireworks, Big Ben and all that sort of thing, but it never seems to happen. So first application. We always see um, in the news first, Australia, we see their fireworks because their, their New Year's ahead of us, aren't they? Yeah. This is lovely. That is nice. And it has orange amber, yeah, very, very aptly named for the scent. Strength. Well, at the moment, it's about two or three. So, I can smell it, but it's quite mild. Yeah, that's lovely. Right. We'll heat up this Gillette. It's slim, adjustable. And uh, as I say, we're using the Gillette Nasset, second use, uh, for the first shave of the year. We've used the special stuff on the Christmas shaves, and we so we don't celebrate the New Year as much here. It's just it's. I tell you how we treat it. It's a New Year, hopefully, and we you know hope and pray it's going to be a better one and for everybody health, health wise first and mental health and uh, every everything else after that. But uh, we treat it like a Sunday, so we have a Sunday lunch. I'll tell you about that in a minute what we're having. So. First pass, set in nine. Oh, that's lovely. It always gives good results for me, this. That feels lovely so far. Are you doing anything special today? If you're home, if you're off. Your friends or family or that's one thing, it is a nice day, New Year's Day. It's sort of a it's the last time with friends and family as well as before everybody goes back to work. Those who are not working over the uh, Christmas period. That's lovely. Setting nine, most aggressive. But uh, I'd say it's a low end aggression for me. We'll just uh, we'll open it up just slightly and we'll take it down. I'll tell you what, we'll use seven. Lucky for some. Yeah, what I'm doing for a meal today is uh, well, I was going to do belly pork and a piece with crackling but <laughs> there was a better deal on buying it sliced <laughs> so i bought about seven pieces i think there's seven or eight maybe um so i'm gonna roast them roast belly pork with some what have we got potatoes maris mm, maris piper potatoes i'm thinking of doing some mashed potatoes with some salted butter um, and a bit of farm milk. Make them nice and uh, beautifully whipped, 
Mm. Not to eat them now. And then I've got some mushy peas. Second application. Which are peas uh, which are slightly mushed up, boiled up and slightly mashed up. Beautiful. It's a, it's a very famous classic in Britain, mushy peas to have with fish and chips. If you ever come over here. Fish, chips and mushy peas, lovely. Anyway, um, we're having pelly pork roasted. Uh, I got some Maris Piper potatoes, which I'll mash as I say, salted butter and all that. Uh, mushy peas, carrots and lascentos of gravy, lots of gravy. Here we go. Set in seven, slightly milder, but not less efficient, not at all. The scent is remaining at, I'd say, a two to three for me. It's a pleasant scent. You have this sort of citrus, sort of orangey scent with a difference, so that will be the amber mixed in. I've got a Welsh cider, I bought it, I think Mrs H bought it me for Christmas, in the fridge. And um, I don't think it was, it was made quite near, I can't remember the name now. Anyway, I looked at the strength, <laughs> it's about 12% alcohol strength. So I, I was going to have that, you see, as I cook, I better, I better leave it till after, I think, in case, <laughs> in case I give it the up. Slickness is lovely, but it's got, it wasn't as, it was slick, but it wasn't the slickest on the first pass, but the second, after the second now you can really, when you've added water, it's really kicked in, so it's, it's a good slickness on it. We're going to open it again, should we try without glasses? Seven, we've got a five. And the thing is, I love using an adjustable razor as an adjustable, not just one setting through the whole shave, I like to adjust it. And, um, I don't know, you feel that you've uh, you've used the razor to its full potential, should we say, but I don't always do it against the growth. Um, I do leave them on setting sometimes, depends how you feel. Uh, something different, isn't it? That's what it's all about. How you feel and what you want to do. That's a nice mid-aggression. Or standard, however you want to call it. I use both terms. Well, there's one good thing about the start of the year, and that is it's going to be uh, spring is on its way, and I love spring because it's new life. I've always said, it doesn't matter how mucked up we make this world as humans uh, in any way, you'll never beat nature or, you know, it'll always win. I 
and it's beautiful, it comes around every year. Everything starts growing, doesn't it? Birds are laying, lambs, new lambs here in the farms and cattle and all sorts. And the colours, beautiful, vibrant greens we have in Wales. And also in March time, sometimes into April, the wild garlic in the woods, ramson, beautiful. If you know what you're looking for, pick them, eat them, have them in salad, cook, I cook with them, um, add them in a lot in curries. <sighs> Sorry for the waffle. I talk as if, I've got, well, I've got friends watching, but I talk as if I've got friends here. That's why nobody visits me that often. <laughs> What the hell's he on about? Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. New Year pick up time. Won't be at work today. Oh, I know. Oh, come on, you must have the first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. He knows, he's remembered. First, first of the month, we're off. Uh, where are we? Number three. We'll leave it on the... No, it's not number three. Come on, number five, is it? Five. We'll leave it on five. doing this pass. Beautiful. There are cool water in this cool water. Must go, must go. <laughs> I see you, must go. <laughs> oh, forget it. Must go, real. Must go, real. Orange amber. So I'm going to use the peach. That's it, you can get into it. Thank you. Again, a very realistic, scented. Oh, it's like cutting a peach in half. Where is it? I love peaches and nectarines. Do you? Right. Right. Very food orientated shave, this. Sorry. <laughs> I just enjoy food and cooking, as you tell. And then, at least admit to it. <laughs> Lucky Tiger. Now, this is a very orange scented aftershave lotion. It's, um, it's a face tonic and aftershave together with aloe vera. Calendula and chamomile, but it comes out as a beautiful sort of oh, yeah, sort of a orange, zesty, gorgeous. Go on, then. Yeah. yeah, I think you'd like it. 
And then I've been enjoying this. Uh, this it's fairly new to me, this, but I've uh, been enjoying it. Gillette Skin Post Shave Balm for healthy, for healthy looking skin with shea butter and vitamin E. And that'll do me. And this will prepare you, not only to start the day, but to start the year. Did you had many fireworks last night where you were. <laughs> I don't know how it is where you live, in your country, whatever, but around here, it hasn't been so bad in the last few years. I won't waffle, sorry, but uh, for, you know, like um, New Year's Eve. Oh, and fantastic. And then New Year's Day evening. <laughs> it's like those that forgot. It was. <laughs> uh, it could be that people were working and, and they're off New Year's Day, so they have their celebrations. And, but it tends to go for a few days. And I think often, often, is it because people couldn't make it on New Year's Eve together? Or is it that they've got this overload of fireworks they want to use up? <laughs> but anyway. Uh, you click to watch this rubbish. <laughs> so, we've used the Gillette Slim Adjustable in this sort of Cuban cigar and gold um, design, done, as I said, by Delta Echo Razor Works, no longer in, in existence, sadly. Uh, and again, thank you, Mark, send me this. I'm the fat boy in this condition, in this design. Beautiful. We use it on setting nine, most aggressive first pass. Setting seven, second pass, don't use that one often. And setting five for against and pickups time. Picks ups, pickup time. Um, Gillette Nasset second use, fantastic blade. Very, very close now. Nice. Musco Real Orange Amber Shaving Cream, beautiful. DS Cosmetic Paul H Films uh, Synthetic Brush 2022. Very old now, it's last year's. And uh, my own bowl, Welsh Water to Rinse. Thank you, Paul. And team and Thayer's Peach Witch Hazel, very realistic. Lucky Tiger Aftershave and Face Tonic has a slight oiliness to this when you put it on, not like an aftershave. Uh, so you may not need sort of a balm really, but uh, I always do. But uh, it's good stuff, orange zesty scent, but it's non greasy. And Gillette Skin um, Aftershave Balm, fairly new one for me. From Gillette, I think it's new from them, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, all the best. I've got a new shaving cream. Um, did I buy the aftershave to go with it or something? Well, two items anyway that's coming, that's new, it's coming direct. Well, at least anyway, it wasn't from the company. Um, and uh, so I look forward to using that. I'll show you when it arrives. Um, and that's it. So, as I say, Happy New Year, may I say this strongly i hope you your family and your friends firstly have a very healthy new year and um uh, a very sort of prosperous new year and a happy new year uh, that's all we can ask for isn't it and a safe new year <laughs> and plenty of shaves new year so all the best thank you very much sorry to waffle and i'll see you on wednesday for the midweek shave all the best and bye-bye Thank you.